so guys this these are two different brands of Harvestite. a whole lot of persons are arguing this brand is better this brand is better my guy you can use any brand and still achieve your desired result what is most important in this brand is their active ingredient and at what percentage okay you need to understand the different active ingredient for each brand you are using that then determines the mode of operation the active ingredient here would then tell you okay this is the function of this herbicide and not the brand name forget about the brand name focus on the active ingredient i'm not going to be showing you these brands okay all right so because obviously they never pay me money to endorse their brand on my channel yet so definitely i just want you to know that that it, it's not about the brand but rather it's about the active ingredient okay so we are going to be talking about the different types of agricultural herbicide but before we go in guys i still remain anthony david aka cheetah and i am welcoming you to this video why do you need to know the different types of herbicides available yes you have to know the different types of herbicide available so you know the right one to use at every point in time so we are gonna dive in but before we go if this is your first time coming across this channel all you need to do real quick is punch on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and do what to give this video a thumb up guys let's dive in peace the first Habitat we are going to be considering here is the free emergence herbicide. How do they function? So these are the herbicides that target weed seeds and ensure that they do not emerge alongside the desired crops. That is why they are a pre-emergence before emergence. Emergence simply means before growth. So these are very, very critical and very, very important agricultural herbicide so that is the first one next up is the post emergence herbicide so when we talk about the post emergence herbicide we're simply referring to that herbicide that is applied on your weeds after they have emerged okay so after the weeds have started growing then you apply a post emergence herbicide remember the first was a pre-emergence you apply that one before the weeds starts to grow and that one targets weed seeds and then the post-emergence targets the weed itself the plant itself after they have emerged next up is the one we refer to as the selective herbicide this herbicide is partial in nature in the sense that it kills certain crops in this case that it kills certain weeds how it works is when you apply it on your field it kills the target crops which could be the weeds and then spears the desired crop or in other words it kills the non-desired crops or plants in this case which is the weeds now it kills the non-desired weeds and spears the crop which is a cultivated crop and that is why i say it is partial in nature because it is a selective herbicide selective it picks the one it wants to kill and then spears it and then kills the other one so we I have already mentioned three pre-emergence post-emergence and the selective okay now if we have a selective definitely there should also be a non-selective, the one that is non-partial. It cuts everything it catches or comes in contact with. All right. So we also have a non-selective herbicide. So this kind of herbicides are uh, herbicide you use to control, kill off everything. Maybe if you are setting up your field newly, you want to apply this kind of herbicide because this herbicide has no joy it literally kills everything it comes in contact with we also need to understand that these herbicides don't spear that is why it's a non-selective so it kills literally everything on its way it comes in contact with and that is why it's we, we call it a non-selective herbicide so if you if you're having a crop and already an already established field be careful not to use a non-selective herbicide so that you don't apply and then the next day 
<laughs> you see that your field is already drying up so you don't want to make such a mistake and that is why you need to understand the herbicides to use i'm still going to explain further okay so that we really understand how to navigate through with the use of herbicide so we've known four types of herbicide let's quickly do a recap have the pre-emergence the post-emergence the selective and the non-selective so we have four stay glued because we still have a lot more herbicides to talk about i will be back guys i'm back but i know you can't see me right and you probably think i'll be coming from where i just went out through no i want to shock you so guys we've talked about four types of herbicides already you're not seeing me yet right okay let me let me let me appear all right so we've talked about four types of herbicides so i am going to be talking about the fifth type of herbicide which is the contact herbicide you might be a little bit confused about all these herbicides i'm talking about but then i'm going to explain to you so that you understand how each one works now i'm talking about the contact herbicide when we talk about the contact herbicide from the word contact it kills any part of the plant okay this contact herbicide kills any part of the plant it comes in contact with so if the herbicide touches this leaf kills off the leaves okay and then it will spare other parts all right so let me get a weed to illustrate okay so this is this is so if it comes in contact with let's say two of these leaves kills the two leaves and spares this all right so if it comes in contact with any part it comes in contact with the stalk it kills off the stalk and then probably the stalk would affect this because if the stalk dies then there won't be any nutrients being supplied water and all of that to the plant so the plant dies so that is why we call it a contact herbicide because it kills off any part of the plant it comes in contact with the next type of herbicide we have after the contact herbicide is the systemic herbicide we have a contact herbicide that you know kills any part of the plant the herbicide come in contact with and then we have a systemic herbicide that kills the entire plant i'll show you the mode of operation of this herbicide let me get a plant assuming this is your plant if a systemic herbicide comes in contact with the leaf the herbicide is absorbed into the plant and it is translocated all around the plant right from the very tip of the plant the merry stem down to the root it 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 is absorbed and translocated all around the plant and it kills the entire plant this systemic herbicide has zero mercy so it doesn't care if it's your cultivated crop or if it is weed it kills every single thing it comes in contact with and that is why you have to be very very careful the type of herbicide you choose to use on your field sometimes i tell people during a consultancy session you should get a contact herbicide for your field and they're like which one is contact this i said okay which did you buy they said okay we bought this i said no you can't use that he said why can't i use that? i said because it tastes systemic habits i said no I said, but the the person that told me told me to buy this okay yoga go and use it since you are arguing so you need to understand because each of these herbicides have their mode of action or mode of operation a systemic kills the entire plant irrespective of the part of the plant it comes in contact with comes in contact with the leaf everything it absorbs and goes into the entire plant it kills it from the merry stem down to the root so if it's an already established crop it doesn't care it kills off every so that's why you have to be mindful of the herbicide you choose to use at the end of the day so i will be back with 
the rest of the herbicides guys the next type of herbicide is the residual herbicide when we say residual herbicide it simply means after application this herbicide the active ingredient of this herbicide are still very much active in the area they have been applied on and it simply means even after application they will still be active in the soil or on the plant and kills any weed that comes up after that point that is the residual herbicide so after residual herbicide we then consider the mode of application we have herbicides that are foliar applied herbicides which simply means you have to apply this herbicide on the plant parts or on the plant leaves for it to be effective so you need to understand that okay this herbicide i want to use now is it a foliar applied herbicide or is it a soy applied herbicide so most of the systemic and contact herbicide are usually fully applied meaning they would be active when you apply them directly on the plant part usually plant leaves because there's presence of stomata which is usually the, op the opening and closing of the plant that this herbicide are absorbed into and then translocated into the plant part for the case of a systemic herbicide and also we have this soy applied herbicide which for it to be effective you have to drench the soy with the herbicide usually these herbicides are usually herbicides that target seed weeds in the soil usually your pre-emergence herbicide are usually soy applied herbicides okay simply means that when you apply them on the leaves it won't have any effect on them and soy applied herbicides such as your pre-emergence you have to apply them directly you have to drench the soil with this herbicide for them to be effective and target the seed weeds in the soil going forward i want to focus on challenges you are faced with in terms of the use of the herbicide i want us i want to leave the different herbicides now i want to go into application of different types how then do i know which of these i'm to use i know that is probably the question going through your head how then do i know i'm to use a systemic herbicide how then do i know i'm to use contact herbicide how do i know if i'm to use a pre-emergence or a post-emergence how do i even know if this herbicide i'm using is a fully applied herbicide or a soy applied herbicide oh god how do i even get to do the dosage of this herbicide i'm even to apply for it to be effective i know there's a whole whole lot of you know technical questions going through your head guys at this point I will be drawing the curtain but then i know for people who want to have proper or further understanding of how to go about with the use of herbicide the applicability of these herbicides on your field all i need you to do right now is reach out to us at chidav agriculture hub send us a message or an email let's let's discuss your weed situation and let's see the best weed control method to really employ if we are going to be doing an integrated or we are just going to be doing a single weed control method for your field but you have to note this for every herbicide you use there's an active ingredient so irrespective of the brand name herbicides come in brand names okay but then the most important thing in that brand is not the name it bears rather it is the active ingredient okay we have some contact herbicides that the active ingredient is paraquat okay so paraquat is a compound that helps you know kill any weed it comes in contact with and then for some of the systemic herbicide some of the active ingredient is glyphosate okay this is an active ingredient for your systemic herbicide so you need to understand all of this and understand how they work so that you can effectively know how to use herbicide and get the right result from your food so if you're still confused guys reach out to us let us help you out reach out to us at chidav agricultural hub and if this is your first time you haven't subscribed to this channel yet punch on the subscribe button 
turn on your notification bell and do what you like this video okay because we want this video to be available to every other person farmer or someone who is a little bit confused about how to use herbicides okay send this video to the person let the person learn and if you want recommendation on a brand to use send us a message we are going to help you out okay send us a message and we'll definitely share requirement for engagement and all of that and also we have our mentorship platforms where we you know mentor farmers existing and new farmers on how best to go about with their agricultural production and all of that and if you still want to check out other videos quickly go to our playlist you are definitely going to find a whole whole lot of them okay do agriculture right guys and make sure you turn on your post notification on of our channel so that you get notified anytime and every time our video pops up or comes alive stay good guys peace